Right, we've got some news. Um, those of you who have been following my channel for a while will know that I love to follow the Fujifilm big announcements, the news, the rumors, um, the updates. And for those of you like me who have had the XT range, then we've got some news stroke rumors <laughs> that are out there at the moment. And I thought it'll be worth bringing those to you. Um, so yeah, let's talk about them. Oh, before we do, let me just tell you, um, my new presets are out. Um, they're called the Solace presets and they are linked below. They're currently on half price. So if you love black and white like I do, and you really want to um, improve and uh, grow your black and white photography and just enhance that, then I've released 60 presets that will help to really bring more atmosphere and texture to your photography. So yeah, do check those out and make the most of that half price deal. Now, okay, so let's start with the X-T5. Now, ever since the, um, the launch of the X-H2S, there's been a lot of speculation about what the X-T5 will look like. Now, initially we had the, um, the kind of rumors circulating about um, will the X-T5 ha have a PASM dial? Well, as far as we can tell from um, what's been said by Fujifilm um, and also from the rumors, they're saying that, like we said before, they're still going to release the um, cameras with the original kind of dials on. So people like me who like the retro look and like that kind of style of camera will still be happy. But it looks like the X-T5 is not going to have the stacked sensor. Now, those of you who are familiar with the X-H2S, which is the current newest model out now, um, it has a stacked sensor, which makes basically two sensors, um, which basically means that you've got a much faster processing. Um, you've got a really high quality autofocus. Um, you know, it's an amazing system, the HX2, um, X-H2S. And from what we can tell, it looks like they're not going to repeat the S and the um, ordinary in the other ranges. That looks like it's just going to stay with the XH line. Now, if that's the case, then all the other cameras are only going to have a single non stacked sensor, which means what will they look like? Well, the rumors look suggest they're going to have a 40 megapixel sensor. So that's a lot to get out of a APS-C um, sensor. So that you know that'll be really interesting to see how that performs and what it's like. Um, I would imagine that's as much as you can push an APS-C sensor. Um, but yeah, some of you will correct me um, if I'm wrong. Um, now, the other thing they're saying is there's not going to have a battery grip option on the XT5, and that's a really interesting thought because I would imagine lots of people use the battery grip on their XT cameras just to give it a bit more um, kind of bulk um, with bigger lenses. Now, all I can imagine is, and you can kind of comment on this, are they going to release a kind of an in-body grip? So is it going to have a bit like some of the GFX cameras where they've got the kind of side grip already in the camera where you can go portrait and still have the, um, uh, the, the shutter um, button that way around as well as the normal way around. I think it's on the XH, no, on the GFX 100, isn't it? Anyway, um, are they going to have that kind of option? You know, who knows what it's going to look like, but you would imagine they want to really impress with the X-T5. It's a big camera. I, I would imagine it's going to, in my opinion, I would think the X-T5 would be a better release than the X-H2. Um, so I would imagine more people would, would be buying it. You can tell me what you think if that's um, if you agree with that. Um, but, you know, big things there. So non-stack sensor, um, no battery grip. And the other thing they're saying is a lower base ISO. Now, that's an amazing feat if they can do that. At the moment, the, the base ISO for a, um, an X, any of the X-series cameras is 160. Um, now, if you come from full frame, you'd be like, why not 100? Well, that's the base ISO at the moment for the Fujifilm X series cameras. And so if they bring down the base ISO to 100, say, who knows what it will be, um, that 
is great because that will that will really improve the um, the image quality um, and improve obviously um, the light gathering and you know the, the whole thing will, will, will make a big difference to the camera. So we could be looking at an incredible camera with a lower base ISO, 40 me megapixels, um, and who knows what with that grip. Now I think we're going to find out. My hunch is we're going to find out about all of this. Um, or at least I hope on September the 8th. Put that date in your diary because it's the X Summit is coming um, on September the 8th. There'll be a lot more rumors built by then. There'll be loads of them. Um, and you can, like I do, just keep checking um, Fuji Rumors website. And they seem to have amazing sources of information and continuous um, news and rumors. Um, they've got, there's going to be two, I think two kind of um, days, or the, uh, the 8th of September and another thing on the 10th. But I think the 8th is when they release the actual um, news about new products. Now we know the X-H2 is going to be released and that's got the 40 megapixel um, sensor in it. Now let's wait and see what that looks like and um, we, know, we know a lot about that camera from the last summit so you would imagine they're going to release new information and I would imagine, I would hope, they're going to release the X-T5 at least something about it since the rumours are beginning to fly around about it. Who knows, maybe an X-Pro4 Will come out as well <laughs> we'll see but anyway let me know all your thoughts you know this is a great time to just speculate and um see what's coming so it's huge news from fuji because the xt5 is going to be a massive camera um but yeah let's uh let's wait and see let me know what you think cheers don't forget the presets and um, patreon's down there too anyway i'll see you soon bye